guys and welcome to another video with me, Jem, from Jem Ball Studio. And today we are going to be talking Valentine's flowers. Now, I was a bit late with uploading my Christmas tutorials, so I'm going to get onto it straight away and show you how you can make your very own Valentine's bouquets. Now, this will be best if you're a florist. I'm not saying to make your own Valentine's flowers but you can be as creative as you want. So I've got 50 red Naomi's here. I have conditioned them all. And there was two, which I didn't know, I can't find which ones they were. Oh, here they are. Um, to show you, I basically just use my rose strippers, go down the stem, get rid of all the foliage and the thorns, and then there's two uh, there's two uh, leaves still at the top here. Then I just get rid of the guard petals, and chuck them in the invisible bin, which is down here. So they're all lovely, blooming, and without any marks on. <laughs> And then we're just going to put all the stems together at the angle with the spiral technique. Okay, now I don't want it to be domed because when it's domed it can look a lot smaller. I want it to be flat but in a round shape so all the heads are at the same length basically. It makes the bouquet look bigger and we're not going to be using any foliage in this. It's just a condensed red rose bouquet. Now the best ones to buy at the roses the ones that are scented with the bigger heads are the red Naomi roses and I do recommend these with a 60 to 70 centimetre stem length because then you know that you, your heads are going to be the biggest so the bigger the stem the bigger the heads will be if you do buy like a 40 centimetre or a 30 centimetre please know that your heads are going to be a lot smaller so this is more of a luxury size okay so um, with the unpacking of the flowers and conditioning, putting them together and then with the foliage, we're going to be using gold foliage as well. It takes about half an hour, 40 minutes, so please do bear this in mind when you are taking Valentine's orders because you don't want to rush it. With, some, with a bouquet as expensive as these, you um, really need to make sure they are the top dollar. Okay? So as you can see, I'm spiralling all my stems. Okay. And I do think that the gold foliage looks really, really nice and just adds extra luxury, but you will see that at the end. arranging the roses now some of them do slip down and go in a bit like a misshape but I'm going to tie it with some raffia and then we're going to make sure all the roses are nice and level but I'm really loving it at the moment and they smell amazing so I'm just going to wrap my raffia around the binding point which is here where our hands were where the spiral goes out like this just wrap it round a couple of times. I'm going to gently pop it on the table to make sure none of the heads get bruised and then just tie it in a double knot like so. Oh. Then we can give our hands a little bit of a break and then tweak but make sure you're not pushing on the stems. Be very gentle because roses can bruise really, really easily. So we can just pull them up really gently, or the ones that are too high, just 
pull them down a little bit. But yeah, it's hard to see all the way around, but you can twist them. But I'm pretty happy with that. So they're all level, but domed at the same time. So you can see every single head instead of like the one row has been down here and you can only see the side of it. So you can fully see the front of the head in all directions. Now onto the foliage. And the gold spray paint that I use for my foliage is the Oasis Easy Color Gold colored spray paint. And then what I do, I put all my foliage into a box and just spray it so it doesn't go anywhere and then just leave it to dry for about 10 minutes. Like this. It's like a gold explosion. <laughs> Okay, I've now done the gold foliage and I've got eight large stems of leather leaf, obviously just sprayed them gold. Then we're just going to go round the outside, like the Eminem song, <laughs> with the gold foliage, spiralling them still all the way around. Now these did actually take a little bit longer than 10 minutes to dry so it really depends on what temperature that you're in and you need to make sure they are really dry because you don't want the paint going onto the lovely red roses. Can you see how the gold picks up the red? It's just stunning. So I think eight will be perfect. So there's no like gaps of the gold going round. Oh, I love it already. Yeah, so eight is perfect. Put that one there. There we go. Love it. Now I'm gonna wrap it in black because black wrapping really brings out the red and the gold. So let's get on with that. I'm just gonna tie this like we did the roses and then we'll get wrapping. Now I have got this lovely Korean wrap. So they come as like a square and they have this lovely gold around the edge, but you can just use a cellophane that comes in rolls. It's a lot cheaper. I think I'm gonna do that for Valentine's Day because these are really, really difficult to get. And I don't really wanna be advertising that I'm gonna be having gold around the cellophane when people might not be actually able to get that. But for this tutorial and for this order, I'm going to use this. I'm just gonna pop the rose bouquet just over here. Then what we want to do is, it's good because it already has a fold in there, so I just fold it in half, make a little square or a semicircle in the middle of the cellophane, and then just make it, just pop it off centre like this, so you can see that it's got two points here, and then because this is really thick cellophane, I just put a little bit of sellotape, just double it up and just pop it underneath so it doesn't move, so it stays like this, okay? And I think I'm going to have about six of these, but don't hold me against that, there might be more, but I think six will do it. onto the cellophane and then I'll turn this around so you can see then we want to pull it up 
So this bit of the cellophane, the bottom, is sitting at the same length as our binding point here. And then I just get a bit of sellotape and just attach it to the raffia, which is how we binded our binding point. And then do that on the other side as well. Make sure it's really sticking together. Okay, then that's our first sheet. We'll turn it like a quarter turn. We'll do exactly the same. We can turn it round on this side. So wrap the bottom of your cellophane to the binding point and the other side as well. And then just keep doing quarter turns with every piece of cellophane that you've got. So the more peaks, the better really. It just looks a bit more luxurious. And this bouquet has taken longer than I imagined. It's had to wait quite a while for the foliage to dry. But if you are doing this for Valentine's Day, please make sure you know how many stems of the leather leaf you're using that you're going to spray gold beforehand and then you can just literally pick them up as you're going and it will save you time. Oh, how good does that look? So yeah, I think about four would, would have done, but I'm gonna put six on just so it looks a little bit extra. Make sure the cellophane is really nice and securely on as you don't want any bits going a bit haywire. That one. Oh, and that one. That one's ripped a little bit at the side, but don't worry. You can just see, if I show you here without anything falling off the table, see it's ripped a bit here. I'm just gonna just pop that up a little bit, tuck it inside like that. Just put a bit of sellotape where the rip was. And then you're good to go. And then what I like to do, I just like to hold it up, make sure it's all okay. Squeeze it at the binding point. And then I'm just gonna go and get some raffia and then put it around so we know everything is nice and secure then. Right guys, I'll let you see my raffia station. It's a bit of a mess here because I've got so much raffia and there's a chair there because i'm actually renovating the top of the studio now so i'm trying to bring everything down so that i can put stuff up there so anyway just tie at the binding point a couple of times again and then we know that our cellophane is going to be nice and secure and then just tie it off and away we go now can you see all these lovely peaks how neat it makes it look. So the more peaks, the better, I think. Now, when I said about your roses being level, because we have been putting the foliage around it in the cellophane, as you can see, my roses have changed a little bit. So I'm just gonna go and titivate those again. Just make sure that they are all level and looking lovely. So I have moved around quite a bit. So. I'll just put you on a time lapse while I'm doing this and then I'll come back to you. Okay, now I'm very happy with this and it looks equal all the way around and I just had to do that because I get OCD <laughs> so yeah 
Oh my god, I love it. And then we have one more thing to pop into the bouquet. And then I'm going to tell you how to wrap the stems as well. Okay, so I've got this gold butterfly that we're going to put in with the roses. It just adds to it, makes it look really lovely. So I've got a wire here and it does have a foam body, but please do be careful when you put these through because it can actually cause them to break. So just be really careful when you're adding the wire to it. Now I might just use a glue gun to put the wire in because it's not really staying. So I'll be back with you in one second. Okay, so I've now glue gunned her. That literally took about 20 minutes because I had a phone call as well. It's just like this video is never going to end. <laughs> I think it's taken me about two hours to film it with all the breaks. But anyway, I've glue gunned the wire to the foam of the body a large helping of glue so it's not going anywhere so then what we do we grab the bouquet and then we'll put the butterfly somewhere which will look nice um where's, where's nice here oh yeah baby how nice does that look it just brings the bouquet to life Okay, so basically what we're going to do with the stems is put them in this box. Now, this box is just like an ordinary floristry box. This is like the biggest box you can get from your wholesalers in England anyway. Unless you go to like a really fancy wholesalers that do lots of lovely sundries. But basically it's a box like this. Now, as you can see, this is grey. We don't have grey in that bouquet. So what I've done, and just to make it look a bit nicer, I have just wrapped it in gold cellophane. Um, so yeah, it's really easy to do. And then I just pop my sticker in the middle. And away we go. Now, I'm gonna wrap the stems as well in the gold cellophane. So basically, what I do is just get two square, well, a bit larger than a square because there's so many stems going in there. So if we do like a large rectangle and then one in the other direction so that it's got peaks, just so we know the whole of the stems are going to be covered. So basically, you want peaks like this. Then I'll just grab my bouquet and some raffia and I'll be back in one second. Now we've got to cut every single stem, even the leather leaf ones that aren't as long as the 60 centimetre stems that we've got here. So I'm just going to cut the bottoms of every single one at an angle and this is crucial so they all drink. So they get a longer life. I might do the stems a bit shorter actually so it fits in the box. cellophane, pop it all around the stems and then just pleat it and the pleats really do help because then we know there's no gaps exposed and water is going to come out. water bubble. Now you can just put a skirt on and keep the stems exposed 
but I do like to put them in water to make sure they're getting enough water because you don't want your customers saying that your roses are dying. So if I know that I've put the water in, I've cut the stems and they're all going to be perfect. And then we're just going to wrap our raffia around the binding point a couple of times like so and then just knock it off Now, it's a good job that I'm not officially open after Christmas and New Year at the moment, except for the funerals, so I did have the time to make this video, and they should fit into the box perfectly. Now, where's my front? And then you just need to add some lukewarm water up to the top. Ooh, that's a bit heavy. <laughs> and here we go. How stunning is this? Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did find it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe so we can keep making more videos similar to this one. And I shall see you in the next video.